my name is Torbjörn Thompson um, and um, I'm presenting data on the incidence and risk factors for SUDEP. Anyone can die suddenly and unexpectedly in seemingly benign circumstances. But the fact is that for people with epilepsy, this risk is increased more than 20 times. This is why we talk about sudden unexpected death in epilepsy, or SUDEP. When SUDEP is witnessed, it has usually occurred during or immediately after a tonic-clonic seizure, but post-mortem examination does not reveal any specific cause of the death. The risk of SUDEP varies almost 100-fold depending on the type of epilepsy population. The lowest incidence rates are in the order of 1 per 10,000 person years, and these have been reported from unselected cohorts of incident cases of epilepsy. The highest rates are seen in patients with refractory epilepsy, where it may be as high as 1 in 100 patient years. SUDEP is the leading cause of premature death, accounting for 10 to 50 percent of all deaths in people with chronic epilepsy. A task force of the ILE has recently completed a pooled analysis of four case control studies to analyze risk factors for SUDEP. This analysis included 289 SUDEP cases and close to 900 living epilepsy controls. The strongest risk factor was frequency of generalized tonic-clonic seizures. The more seizures, the higher the risk. Male gender, onset of epilepsy early in life and long duration of epilepsy were also identified as risk factors. However, SUDEP was not associated with any particular anti-epileptic drug nor with polytherapy when adjustment was made for seizure frequency. In conclusion, the available data strongly indicate that complete control of major convulsive seizures is the best way to reduce the risk of SUDEP.